Welcome to a special episode for TMS VCL form panel. Today we're going to use TMS VCL form panel with the REST API. Just let me give you a short outline of the following video. I want to start with telling you how I got the idea for this video. Then I'm going to show you how you're going to request data from a REST web service, how to connect it to a data set adapter and how to connect that data set adapter to a data source that you will connect to the TMS form panel. And then I'll show you some customization options that will get you started to make full use of TMS form panel controls. Embarcadero employee Pavel Glovaki posted on his blog about a web service or REST API that tells you everything about your IP address. I found it really interesting because I always wanted to, to have a means to access this kind of information. Looking at his blog, I saw that he used source code only to retrieve data from the web service. I'm a very visual guy and I also like to have everything under control during design time. So the following video will show you how to request data from the REST API during design time, during runtime, and then how to connect that data to a data set that you will be able to connect to TMS visual controls without writing a single line of code. I already started Delphi with a VCL forms application. It's all set for Win32, but of course this is also available for Win64. So first of all, we need a means to request data from the web service. Delphi comes with three controls that make it really easy to access REST data. First of all, if you type REST in the search for the tuple app, you will see that you get the REST client, the REST request, and the REST response, and the REST response dataset adapter. We will make use of all these three components. So the REST client, REST request, REST response, and finally, but not least, REST response dataset adapter. I'm going to rename the components so I can access them easier. This will be the component client. I will name this one request. This one will be the response. And this one will be the adapter. Now we have to connect these components to each other. We connect the request to the client, which is done automatically by Delphi because we dropped it after the client. And this component is also already connected to the response. And finally, the adapter. Sadly, this one doesn't connect automatically. So we have to set the response. And we also need a data set, which we haven't dropped onto the form so far. So let's get a fire deck mem table. If you have been using Delphi for a long time, you probably know about the client dataset. FireDuck introduced us to the MAM table, which is way more capable of doing things. So have a look at the documentation to get yourself accustomed to using the MAM table instead of using client dataset. So we are going to name this table response, and we're going to connect the adapter to the dataset. We need one more step in order to make the REST request work. We need a URL. I simply copied that from Pavel's blog. So we go to the base URL property and insert the URL. This is all it takes to consume REST APIs using Delphi. You right click the request, click execute, and here you go, response 200, okay. So do we already have data? Let's double click the table response, right click, add all fields, and yes, we do have all the fields from the web request. This is amazing that without a single line of code, we have full control over all the results of the web service. Let's drop the form panel from TMS. This component is included in the TMS VCL component pack. The component gives us the hint what we need to do. We need to assign a data source. So let's drop a data source, connect it to the data set. There's only one. And now set the data source property to data source one. And there you go. Everything's been retrieved from the data set. All the fields are being converted into labels and we get nice edit fields. Let's customize the panel a bit. For example, under layout, we can choose to display everything in two columns. One of the strong points of Delphi, the VCL, and thus the VCL component pack from TMS is that you can see anything during design time already. So let's request the data again. And there you go. All the information is already there during design time. 
Please understand that I blurred the information displayed here because it's obviously confidential. So let's add the final pieces that we need for the application to work during runtime. Add a simple button and add the caption, execute or whatever you want to name it. Double click it. And now we need to request the data. So we say request execute. Of course, you can execute asynchronously, not to block the graphical user interface, but this is a demo. So we're not going to emphasize on that. And of course, we need to open the data set. Table response dot open. And in case we click the button two times, we say table response dot close. So here it is, the form we just designed with two columns. All the labels are the same as the field names. This is the default. And we can click execute and we get the data from the web servers. I probably did this the wrong way around, but I just wanted to show you what the result of the web service looks like. We simply requested the HTTP IP API.com slash JSON, use a get request. And if we look at the results, Right here, we see that the uh, tool already picked the JSON result, but of course we can also pick raw text view. And there you go, this is what's coming back from the web service. And I consider it pretty amazing that you're able to use FireDAC data sets with web results and connect it to VCL controls and also third party VCL controls like the TMS VCL component pack. What makes this component even more fascinating is that you have full control over all the items. That means you can click the layout items property and here you get access to all the different items and you can say I want an edit control, I want a checkbox, combo box, it's a date field and the component will do anything for you to provide the correct user interface for the user. Of course, you can also say, no, I don't want to edit this. This is read only. You can specify the width, the height. You can provide multi-line editing. So without writing a single line of code, you can provide a user experience like none other. There is a lot of people that just look at the VCL from the outside at the visual aspects. However, what they don't see is how much better it has gotten to connect to other APIs and it was able to include these new technologies into components that you've been working with for years and also FireDAC being a database framework being used like this so that you can use database controls like a DB form panel from TMS software makes this really powerful. However, if you consider writing your own REST servers, be aware the TMS software also provides tools like Sparkle and Xdata. Thank you again for your interest in this video and hope to hear you soon.